Smith is the ultimate utility player for Chris Jones, dressing at both the defensive line and linebacker spots in 2012. If you ask anybody on this team who their emotional leader is, you know they're going to say number five, and your own CFL rookie, he was second on the team in tackles with 73, added three sacks and a pick six. He had a monstrous Eastern final, two interceptions. The Argos Defensive Player of the Year, number six, Marcos Marcos! A native of California, he played his college career at Oregon State. This is his first year in double blue, number 20, Brian Payton! First year with the Argos, he had his best year as a pro with 43 tackles, four sacks, and led the team with three forced fumbles. When he's out on the field, people know number 28, Brandon Eisen. Added to the Argos roster midseason, he is a huge reason for the special teams unit turnaround. He is now a three-time Grey Cup champion, number 42, Walter Spencer. Late in training camp, he led the Boatman's defense in tackles with 86, good for sixth in the entire CFL. They call him Hammer, number 45, Robert McHugh. In his fourth season with the Boatman, he is a special teams team, and for Mike O'Shea and the Argos, this is the second Grey Cup championship for the man they call J. Poe, number 46, Jason Plattinger. In his third year with the double blue, he dressed in 14 games for the Bowman, including handling punting duties in week 15 against Saskatchewan, number 47, Kyle Jones. Toronto boy who is in his fourth season in the CFL. He finished the team second on the team in special teams tackles with 17. Number 51, Tristan Black. A CFL rookie. He was second on the team with four interceptions, added 34 tackles and four on special teams. Oh, and he also took an interception to the house in the 100th Grey Cup. Number four, Pacino. CFL, he totaled 18 tackles and three interceptions. None bigger than his pick six in the Labor Day Classic at Ivor Wind. He goes by Batman, but he's definitely the team's joker. Number eight, Ahmad Carroll. He racked up 18 tackles in four games in 2012. Stepped into the starting lineup in the Eastern Final and never looked back. Number 19, Jalil Carter. A shutdown halfback in his third year with the Argos. He played in 16 games for the Double Blue, accumulating two interceptions. Number 24, Evan McCullough. A Quebec native, he totaled five special teams tackles and brought much needed consistency and veteran leadership to the special teams unit. Number 27, Etienne Boone. the Argonaut special teams with 20 special teams tackles in 2012. He also scored a fumble recovery TD on a wild play against BC in that week 12 where Kevin Huntley's still not happy about. He's number 39, Matt Black. This Quebec native and St. Francis Xavier alumni spent all of 2012 with the double blue. Also of note, he can do a backflip while catching a pass. Anthony Alex. In his first year in the C
CFL. He joined the club during the season and showed up the Argos kicking game. His leg is the reason Hamilton didn't even see the playoffs. And we're pretty sure he could hit a 100-yarder if he put his mind to it. Number 30, Swayze. and long snapper for the moment. He started in all 18 games for the club while snapping for five different kickers. He also dressed like Pee Wee Herman for Halloween this year. Chad Rempa. <laughs> These guys made sure that our players stayed in the best possible shape to go out onto the field and perform. They're important for the entire process of winning is often overlooked. And without their immense efforts, we would have not been able to get to our goal. The athletic trainers, Dave Wright and Scott Shannon. Quite possibly the most important non-football position. These are the guys that do the little things that lead to victory on a game-to-game -game basis. Things happen throughout the course of a game. Of with a late touchdown reception. Receptions for 437 yards, four touchdowns in 2012, including a three TD game against Winnipeg in week 17, and a game winning TD against Winnipeg in week four. He's number 81, Jason Barnes! A five year starter. season as a CFL pro, totaling 100 rushes for 638 yards, five touchdowns while adding 23 receptions for 212 yards. He won Offensive Player of the Week in Week 11 when he had 239 all-purpose yards and had a crucial 49-yard touchdown run at the Eastern Final against Montreal. He capped his remarkable season by earning MVP honors in the Brent Cup game after rushing 20 times for 133 yards, eight catches for 60 two yards, it's the Cack Attack, number 44, Chad the team, lead in interceptions with five, he is the captain of the defense, and has earned his second Grey Cup ring in double blue, we all know him as JY, number 26, Jordan Young. They promised you they were going to give you their everything. They brought the best quarterback in the league to this city. Manager Barker, Coach Milanovic, and all the staff promised they'd give everything. The players said we're going to take you to the top. They delivered on their promise. And you guys are the greatest fans in the world, and they are so happy. football team in this country and I can tell you there's another promise they're not going to just sit back and have this be the first one we're going to fight we're going to continue to grow and we're going to continue to bring this cup back to this city for many more years to come Manager 
Barker, Coach Milanovic, all the coaches, the players, and all the fans. It's a great honor for us to present to you the Great Cup, emblematic of the greatest football team in this country. organization always believe we'd have an opportunity to be standing here tonight I just hope that fans are, are as proud of this team as I am it was a season that was a little up and down at times but was there ever any doubt in your mind at all I never had any doubts we had some rough moments but um, these guys came together and they're family I, I don't know if you can feel the love up here on the stage but uh, these guys believe the entire the entire season and then here we are You've won great cups before as an assistant, but now this is the special one, isn't it, as a head coach? Compare. Tell us how this one means, how much this one means to you in comparison. 
Well, they all feel great. I'm just proud for these players. Uh, they've worked so hard. There's so many guys here that, that, that have never touched that cup, and to have their names engraved on it means everything to me. What are your feelings about these fine people who have come out on this day to celebrate your football team? And we're proud of our fans. They are underrated, and we look forward to seeing you again next year. Head coach Scott Milanovic, Greg Strizzi. Strizzi has built up a special relationship with Big Mr. Chad Tackett right now. Right now, I think it's time to welcome up to the stage, up to the mic, where is he? 100th Grey Cup Most Valuable Player and maybe the most explosive running back in the CFL. Make some noise for Chad Tackett! Hi, Chad. I know you're a really excitable guy on the mic, just like you are on the field. And I know you broke through the defense and the snaps on that game a lot. Like, just tell me what it feels like and how it was how it was for you to be so successful against the Stampeders that night. Well, it feels really good. And, uh, <laughs> that's the obvious answer. Um, everybody did their part. They made it easy for me. Okay. Also, I know in your wildest dreams, you'd have never thought at the end of the year, you would be MVP of the... Talk to me, MVP of the Grey Cup here in Toronto! Tell me what that feels like, Chad. Well earned and well deserved. That feels good, too. <laughs> says here. I just want to talk to you directly, man. Tell me exactly what it feels like. The whole year has been great. There's been some up and downs, but the ups obviously took over as we are now Great Cup champions. And tell us about what it felt like, of course, beating Mike Finball Carlin's records and some of the records you um, you accomplished this year. Uh, man, aside the records, man, that's just uh, that's one thing. But the number one goal and overall goal was to, was to win this cup and bring it home to the city. And that's what we're, that's what we're uh, most excited about, man. And you've always been somebody that always talks about family first. Uh, family first here, of course, in your team, and family first here with your kids. What's it like celebrating here? And everywhere you go, you got your little man with you, you got your kids with your family. Tell us why it's important to have family first. Oh, it's huge, man. It's uh, it's a moral that we grew up around, you know, uh, in Hawaii, and it's, it's special, man, um, to, to give back and to give them what, what uh, I've never had. So, you know, children are the future, man, and I just want to show them the way, and maybe one day you'll be able to hoist the cup. predict for 2013 going forward now. Go. Repeat. Repeat. Yeah. Yeah. One word. Repeat. Thank you. Give it up once again for the MOP, my man, Mr. Chad. Oh. Yeah. You give everything you have to your teammates. You, you, you invest in them. You give them your wisdom and, and hope that they they choose to follow, and they did, and I mean, it just turned out to be an amazing experience. Now, well, we know you um, you are considered the leader of the defense, and uh, of course, specifically the defensive backs. Following the last uh, walkthrough, you and the coaches were up in the stands and whatnot talking. Of course, Coach O was talking. Tell us what that was like. Just reflecting on the season, everything we had done, everything we had been through as a as a unit, as a defense, and just trying to focus on the moment and enjoying it and embracing it. It feels amazing to be champions. Yeah! Last but not least, I just want you to talk to this city right here. You're a championship team. It's a championship city. What do you have to say to Toronto? Yo, Toronto, it's been a long time coming. Toronto is one of the best cities in the entire universe. And now we got the hardware to go with it.
What a day to finish. What a night to finish. What a season, eh, Strizzy? We want to thank you all for making this season so special for the team that you love, the 2012 Great Cup champion, Toronto Argonauts. You were as big a part of it as anybody. Go from this place knowing that the team you love also made you a champion in 2012. Thank you, everyone. Are you soft?